This video is on the chapter of vectors in vector spaces and we are working on the concept of dot product. Okay, so in this video this is a very important uh, couple of proofs that we are going to do here because we are asked to prove that taking the dot product with a vector, a fixed vector, should be written, fixed vector V, is a linear operator. Okay, let me quickly explain what a linear operator is. Uh, a linear map, also called linear mapping or linear transformation or linear operator, that's the expression we are using here, or in some other contexts, and we might might get on this later, or on another course, sorry, linear function. At the end of the day, A is a linear map, a linear operator, is a linear map, or a linear map is a function between two modules, but I'm not going to get on this, on modules now. I'm doing a course on representation theory where sometimes I talk about modules. For those interested, please check that list on representation theory. So including vector spaces, okay, so it's a function between two modules, they can be vector spaces, that preserves in the sense defined below, I'm going to, to define that under, that preserves the operations of module or vector, in our case is vector, we are not talking, sorry I took this from a, a course on module theory, the operations of, uh, 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 the operations of vector addition and scalar multiplication, this is important thing, okay, so a linear operator is a function, okay, that preserves, these are the important words, a linear operator is a function that preserves uh, vector addition and scalar multiplication. Okay, let me say this in a, in a simple way. Uh, this is a course for basic uh, linear algebra, so let us forget the modules and all that sort of stuff. A linear operator is a function between vector spaces that preserves the operations, the operations vector addition and scalar multiplication. Preserves in what sense? Preserves in this sense here. So it preserves addition. So f, so x and y will be vectors in the vector space, and alpha will be a scalar in the field. Okay, so f of x plus y equals f of x plus f of y, usually called additivity, and f of alpha x equals alpha of fx, also called homogeneity. So, now we are asked to prove that taking the dot product with a vector fixed V is a linear operator in this sense. So for our proof we are going to need vectors, we are going to need P vectors in Rn, U1, U2, Up, these are not components, these are vectors, okay? So, in order to distinguish, I made a small arrow above. So, these are vectors u1, vector u2, etc., to vector up, and a fixed vector v. All these vectors are in the vector space Rn. And I also have a1, a2, ap scalars in the field of the reals. Okay, so these are going to be our tools to prove that the inner product is 
a linear operator. Okay. Okay, in our case, we don't need to prove this because this was proved in previous videos. Okay, so we have to get on this one, but in our proof, we are going to use another vector. Okay, a vector v that we are going to put here and here. Okay, and that's what we have to prove. So here we are, we have vector vectors u1, u2, up, and a fixed vector v, that's the one that we have to prove that um, the dot product with this fixed vector represents a linear operation. They're all in the, this vector space, Rn, and we take a1, a2, ap, scalars in R. So, in order to prove this, um, we have to prove that, in, a, in order to prove that it is a linear operation, I'm going to write it again, a linear operation, we have to prove that the sum from k equals 1 to p, a k, this is a scalar, times u k vector, we can associate this two times v equals the sum of a k scalar times u k times the fixed v vector. We have to prove this and we have to prove this, that v times the sum of a k u k is equal to the sum of a k v, so I can throw v inside the, the sum uh, symbol, okay? And since this is proved, okay, now I can say that ak is equal uh, v, ak times v times uk, okay? And if we prove these two, so we can interchange these two okay so that we don't need to prove okay we just need to prove one and we have to prove two 